Okay, for today's experiment, I'm playing with something called an optocoupler photo transistor. That's that four pin device there, that white device. It's actually an ET1109 is the port number. I have the spec sheet up here. So there it is, an optocoupler photo transistor, four pin device. There's a uh, light emitting diode on the bottom, which then um, emits light when you put a low current flow into the bottom two pins here. That LED activates the base in this transistor and then allows current to flow between the emitter and the collector. So that's kind of cool. And you get complete electrical isolation of one side from the other. So as it says here in the description, it consists of a phototransistor optically coupled to a gallium arsenide light uh, infrared emitting diode and a four lead plastic dual inline package. Applications for this are for the safe protective separation against electrical shock according to some uh, safety codes. So here it is. It's um, you know pretty simple in my test setup. I'm bringing in uh, a low voltage, low current flow into the left hand side to light up that LED. Positive to pin 1. Pin 2 is just the return back to the power supply through a 40 ohm resistor and back to ground. And then on the right hand side, which is completely isolated from the left hand side, pins 3 and 4 are connected to my multimeter. I, all I want to do is measure the resistance across pins 3 and 4 to actually see the transistor turn on. Right now my power supply is off and the multimeter is reading inf infinite resistance across pins 3 and 4. So I'll turn on the power supply. I have it set up for a maximum 4 volts, a maximum of 10 milliamps. So very little flow there to the left hand side. Turn it on. You get the 10 milliamps at less than 2 volts. Um, 0.018 eight watts is flowing into the left hand side lighting up that uh, infrared emitting diode activating the base and we'll look at the resistance across pins three and four it's 218 ohms so we've gone from an infinite resistance to 218 ohms pretty low resistance that's how this thing works it's kind of interesting and you get this complete isolation of the left side from the right for safety reasons Cool. I guess also this thing can switch very, very, very rapidly. So it's used in uh, switching power supplies and things of that nature. Thanks for watching.